Hello students. I hope you all are doing fine. Today we are going to start our next chapter that is the second chapter which is whole numbers. So in this session we are going to see the introduction about whole numbers, various facts about whole numbers, how to represent whole numbers on a number line, addition of whole numbers on number line, subtraction and multiplication of whole numbers on the number line and then it would be followed by the exercises. So children you know we need numbers for counting. When we begin to count any object we start from counting one and then we keep on following like one, two, three and so on. Thus the counting always begins from one and it comes naturally to us. Hence we call these numbers as the natural numbers or the counting numbers. So we always start counting from one. That's why the first or I can say the smallest natural number is one. And there are infinitely many natural numbers. So there is no largest natural number. Now let's take an example. Say if I have to distribute eight pencils equally among three children, then I will distribute two pencils to each child and then two pencils would be left with me. Now suppose if I have to distribute these, distribute only six pencils equally among three children, then when I will distribute two pencils to each child, then I would be left with no pencil or I would say that I have zero pencils with me. So to show this nothingness, zero is being introduced. So the zero pencil means absence of pencil or simply no pencils. Thus, to represent this absence of an object, we use the symbol zero. And thus, it can be used to represent nothingness or the emptiness. So in this way, we have introduced one more number to our set of natural numbers. And thus, we get a new set of numbers that is known as whole numbers. So the number zero along with the natural numbers are called whole numbers. So now the smallest whole number is zero. And since there is no limit to natural numbers, there is also no limit to whole numbers. And hence, there is no largest whole number. There are infinitely many whole numbers. Now let's understand few facts about whole numbers. All the natural numbers are also whole numbers. Now we have defined the set of whole numbers as zero along with the natural numbers. So that's why all the natural numbers are also whole numbers. All whole numbers except zero are also natural numbers. So all the whole numbers except zero are natural numbers. So we can say all natural numbers are whole numbers, but all whole numbers are not natural numbers. Zero is the smallest whole number. So we have seen that the whole numbers start from zero. That's why it's the smallest whole number. There is no last or the greatest whole number as there are infinite whole numbers. 
adding 1 to a whole number gives us its successor. So when we add 1 to any whole number, I will get its successor. In the same way, subtracting 1 from a whole number gives us its predecessor. So every whole number has a successor. Say if I start from 0, then 0 plus 1 gives me 1. And I can keep on adding 1 to any number and get its successor. So I can say every whole number has a successor. But the number 0 has no predecessor because the whole number starts with 0. And if I try to subtract 1 from 0, then I won't get a whole number. So I would say that number 0 has no predecessor. Or in general, I can say that every whole number does not have predecessor. So the number 0 has no predecessor. Representation of whole number on number line. So to understand how to represent a whole number on number line, let's see what is a number line. Number line is a pictorial representation of numbers which are evenly marked on a straight line. So now to represent a whole number on a number line, firstly, we have to draw a horizontal line and mark point zero on it. So here I have drawn a horizontal line and the starting point of this line is marked as zero. I can extend this line in right direction. Now after starting uh, marking the point zero, we start marking the points one, two, three, four and so on at equal distances. So keep it in mind that the distances between the two numbers should always be same. These numbers should always be placed uniformly. Now let's see few facts about the number line. Now you can observe there is no whole number on the left of zero. So since zero is the smallest whole number, there is no number to the left of 0. And we begin the number line from 0. Now you can observe I have put an arrow on the right side. That means this line can be extended in one direction only. That is the right direction. 0 is the end point. We cannot extend this number line on left direction. So there is no number to the left of zero. Now next point is a whole number is greater than all the whole numbers which lie to the left of it on the number line. Now what does it mean? Say if I take a whole number five, then all the numbers which are towards the left of number 5 are smaller than it or I can say 5 is greater than all the numbers which are towards the left of it. Similarly, I can say a whole number is less than all the whole numbers which lie to the right of it on the number line. So again, let's take an example 5. What are the numbers towards its right? 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. So 5 is less than all these numbers which are towards the right of the given number that is 5. So in this way we can use number line to compare two whole numbers. So whichever number is towards right is greater. So if I want to compare say two whole numbers 9 and 4. Then let's see which is towards right. 9 is towards the right. That's why 9 is the greatest.
greater number. Now let's see how we can do addition of whole numbers on a number line. So we'll do it with the help of an example. Say I have to add 5 and 3 using number line. So firstly, what I have to do, start from 0. So I start from 0 and take 5 jumps towards the right side. So I will reach at 5. Now I have to add 3 to it. So from 5, again I have to take 3 jumps in right direction only. So 1, 2 and 3 which will land me at the point 8. So in this way, I will get the sum of 5 and 3 as 8. So we'll get 5 plus 3 as 8. So always keep it in mind when you are adding the numbers using number line, always jump towards the right direction. Now let's see how to perform subtraction of whole numbers on number line. So let's take an example for this. Subtract 4 from 7. So we are subtracting 4 from 7. So we will write it as 7 minus 4. Now for subtraction, start from 0 and then jump directly to the first number that is 7. So we will start from 7. Now from 7, since I have to subtract 4, I will take 4 jumps in the left direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and I will land at 3. So this is the difference between 7 and 4 which is 3. So for subtraction, we have to move in left direction. Whereas we have seen for addition, we have to move in right direction. So in this way, we will perform subtraction on whole numbers by shifting in left direction. Now let's see how to multiply whole numbers using number line. So let's take an example, multiply 2 by 3, that is 2 multiplied by 3. Now children, you know multiplication means repeated addition. And for addition, we have seen that we have to shift towards the right direction. So the product of 2 and 3 means 2 is added 3 times. Now let's see how to perform this using number line. Now for this we'll start from 0 and make a jump of 2 units. Since 2 is to be added 3 times we make a jump of 2 units and then we make 3 such jumps because we have to add this 2 3 times. So we make three such jumps. One, two, and three. Three jumps each of two units will land me at six. So in this way, I can see the product two by three is equals to six. You can do it other way around also. Like you can make a jump of three units and then make two jumps. This will also land you at six only. So either way you do multiplication, the product is going to be same. So children, now we have learned what are whole numbers, how we can represent these whole numbers on a number line and how to perform various operations on whole numbers using number line. So I hope you can do this exercise with the help of knowledge we have gained now. 
So that's all for today's session. Thank you, children.